This is Princey Seat's channel, your preferred channel for most current and detailed content and information needed. You are welcome. If you are new kindly subscribe and press the notification button for onward information. Thank you. This voice note places an urgent call to the CBN for speedy disbursement, pay attention to it. We believe that all things work together for good, and so it will be for what we expect. Going forward, tonight's main discussion is about, our topic is to address the issue of the grant, which is still not yet disbursed. But tonight we'll be calling on the CBN to assist us with speedy disbursement. Uh, first of all, I want to go through the ordeals that um, uh, to mention the ordeals that Nigerians are going through and uh, which necessitates calling on uh, the apex financial institution of this country to come to our rescue uh, speedily, most especially this week. Uh, we know that this grant has been uh, over delayed and um, we know and can also tell about the efforts that um, government, CBN, and everyone is putting in to get this grant disbursed. Uh, but at this point, we want to specially call on the CBN governor, Dr. Um, Michael Cardoso, all right, to help us with the speedy disbursement of this uh, grant. Uh, we believe that a lot of effort is being put in place, but we also uh, want something to be done this week because uh, Nigerians have come a long way waiting for something. Most especially this time, there is a lot of um, the hardship is is high. The high and rising cost of of food. There is um, uh, avoidable debts. Uh, people that are sick in the hospital. Capital for investment. Uh, employment, um, direct and indirect employment in millions that should have, you know, uh, uh, come in because of this grant, but it's slowed, it's delayed, it's kept, and then um, we find ourselves not really being able to do what we're supposed to do. So uh, a lot of lives are dependent on it, and um, this thing not happening as quickly and as urgently as it should be. Uh, gives us a lot of concern. Uh, what we are doing this evening is to uh, ask and plead with the CBN to help us to fast track. Yes, the ball is in their court, but to help us fast track it, to make sure that um, this week there is disbursement of this money. And we will thank God for them for uh, hearing our clarion call for this to happen. We are not uh, um, attacking anybody, neither are we uh, blaming anybody. We are asking for help and assistance, and there is no limit to which uh, we can do that. Uh, they say, I beg, I beg, no, they kill. We are begging that um, the plight of the masses be prioritized, that every form of uh, conditions that would have brought about extensions, delay, further processing, and things like that, be tackled headlong to ensure that we have a speedy disbursement of this grant uh, this week. We are really pleading for this week because January is almost over. The year has already started. Lots of small, medium enterprises, uh, and even large ones, cannot really kick off because there's no funding. Schools have started. Parents are, you know, um, not able to fund the fees of the awards back to school. And, um, you know, so therefore it is increasing the number of out of school children in Nigeria. And the poverty level is rising because the cost of food is rising. Transportation is also the cost of it is rising. So there is lots. Uh, people in hospitals cannot pay bills. So uh, diseases, all right, or ailments that would have been easily treated cannot be treated uh, because um, the, no funds. Do you understand me? We don't have that. And um, all these things uh, are bringing issues, you know, to us. And we are pleading for a, in, an immediate, like, 
immediate we, there's no other language we can use at this point than to plead for an immediate resolution and assistance to disburse this money from the cbn particularly to the cbn governor uh, dr michael uh, cardoso uh, that is um who we are you know at this point really calling on and pleading that we have uh, uh, help us in this speedy uh, disbursement now the situation in the country is terrible uh, people are dying and this is the new year businesses ought to start nigerians having these funds will help them uh, to create uh, millions of direct and indirect employment so we are just pleading with the apex uh, financial institution of this country to help us to get these funds disbursed this week i mean this week that is what we are pleading for so that nigerians can start planning their lives those that need to send their children back to school can do that those that are in the hospitals they need to get out of the high blood pressure that is killing people you know they get out of such and uh, many other things can be done now we're talking about some projects that we need to do and th so that things can just get people can move on i will really appreciate if the cbn governor uh, can help us in this regard and cbn or say whole can work towards an a a quick and expedited disbursement uh, this week this is what we are doing uh, to call on 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 you to help us in this regard so we have also asked a few people here uh, to uh, join voices and just give very short speech two minutes just to plead with CBN to as, assist us to get this thing disbursed this week. It will be the highest of honor to Nigerians to help us get this done uh, this week. We know things are being done, even though things are being kept under cover and all of that. I know probably for security reasons. However, we plead that this week shouldn't pass, that uh, the Apex Bank should help us in the speedy disbursement of the grant we are all expecting. This is what we would like to plead with tonight. So for those that are going to speak after me, just in two minutes, make your point and then let, uh, let that go. Now, secondly, let me just put straight forward uh, before we call on those that will you know, make speeches. I just sent uh, a voice note about uh, agriculture by about farming and uh, would like you to participate at this point I know Nigeria really needs to uh, grow the food production base of the country and the Ministry of Agriculture is working hard towards it. There is a training they recently had that finished yesterday. And uh, I would like you to be a farmer. I mean, every Nigerian is actually considered a farmer uh, outside what you're doing. Be you you're a teacher, be you an engineer, be a nurse, be whatever. The next thing you should do is farming. So. Uh, but the area of concentration for this particular um, aspect of it is rice, maize, and cassava farming. Um, basically, for the rice and, and even the other.